Welcome to our few moments together on the Parsha. The Shabbos, we have the privilege of reading Parshas Lech Lecha, which is basically the beginning of our nation through our forefathers. And the first one that's mentioned, of course, is Avraham Avinu, the father of Gemilas Chesed, the one who did kind deeds, and the building of his family. And as the Ramban says, towards the beginning of the Sedra in Pasuk Vav, when Avram is going towards the south, and it says that the Ramban says, Kol ma she'ira le'ovos, all that happened to the fathers, Simon Lebanim, is a sign for the children. Whatever happened with Avram and Yitzhak and Yaakov happens also with his children. And in fact, the Ramban says that Avram left from his father's house because he was persecuted there. And so, too, so many times, the Jewish people have had to leave their homes because they were persecuted. There's an interesting pasuk that is found in the Aseris Adibros and is also mentioned in Pashas Kisisa after the terrible Avera of the Egel. And it basically says in two places over there, also mentions it once in Parshas Shlach, after the Miraglim, that Hashem is Ose Chesed La'alofim, He does kindness for thousands, and yet He is remembering Pokeid Avon Avos Albanim Va'aribeim, that He remembers the sins of the fathers to the children to the third and fourth generation. In Parshas Kisisa, Rashi mentions that if you'll notice the ratio when it comes to God's doing kindness, to Hashem's doing kindness, he says, O chesed la'alofim. He does kindness to thousands, and the minimum of thousands is two. However, when he punishes, it's only to the third or fourth, and consequently, you only have a ratio of 500 to 1. 500 to 1. Good outweighs the bad 500 to 1. That means the most generations that punishment can ever accrue, and that's only if the children continue to do the sins of the fathers, but the most it will come is to four generations. Well, when it comes to reward, reward can come to the minimum of 2,000 generations. Avraham Avinu lived not 2,000 generations ago. From us to Moshe Rabbeinu is only about 80, 82 people. To Avraham Avinu, it's another five, six people. And consequently, the most it is is 90 90 generations. To this day, we are reaping the reward of the kindness and the goodness of Avraham Avinu. And when it says that Hashem does kindness to thousands of generations, He is still giving that kindness to us. That's why we say, Morgain Avraham. In the present tense, He's still shielding Avraham Avinu because we are the beneficiaries of all that shielding, of all that kindness. Can you think about it? Do we realize that if we do good deeds, the deeds that Hashem wants us to do, we follow the Torah, we do kindness to others, we become like Avraham with Gemilas Chesed, do we realize that this is going to carry out beyond us for thousands of generations? Isn't that the miracle of Jewish survival, of the Jewish people? That to this day there's this reaping of reward from Avraham Avinu and that we can guarantee that it goes on almost immeasurably, thousands of generations because of all the kindness that we do. That's an important gift that Avraham Avinu gave us and that the Torah tells us about. To this day, We say Morgain Avraham, and we're still getting the reward of the righteous forefather, Avraham Avinu, 
that was kind and good and is giving to his children and children and children for thousands of generations all the good deeds that he did and that we are the beneficiaries of that. And let's hope that we will pass those gifts on further for thousands of generations. Have a wonderful Shabbos.